Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to install the older version of a MySQL server. Suppose you are using any operating system which is quite old, for example, Mojave, Sierra, High Sierra, and the current version of uh, MySQL server is not supported by your operating system. So in that case, you will have to download the older version of MySQL server. So just go to mysql.com slash downloads and you'll be shown this link community downloads. Click on it and you'll be shown multiple options uh, of downloading different softwares. Just go to MySQL community server because that's what you want to do download. Click on that and then you'll be shown a page where there will be a lot of download options, but that will be mainly for the current uh, stable release. And uh, there you can see different options for uh, different processes like uh, DMG archive is there uh, for ARM and then x86 which is for uh, different processor type but you want to download the older version of the MySQL server so for that you have to go to archive section which is on the top right and then you will be shown this uh, kind of page wherein there will be different product versions operating systems so select the one which is the latest one the most recent one for your uh, operating system so for example if we are seeing this no operating system is mentioned but for this one 8.0.11 uh, there is sierra so it is also compatible with sierra so if you're using sierra operating system and you want to install and use the mysql server then you have, have to download this version and if for example we will choose 8.0.20 then it will be supported by mojave dmg archive as you can see it is for x86 uh, so that is for Intel processors so you can download this particular installer and then you can install this on your Mojave operating system and it will work flawlessly so I was facing a lot of issues while downloading the current release software uh, the installer but it wasn't working on my system it was because I was using Mojave which is not supported by the current release so I had to go and search for the older version of uh, MySQL server which supports Mojave so now we are downloading uh, the uh, the version which is supported by Mojave and we are now installing the uh, software. So we will just uh, follow these steps, continue because it's very standard. You can't really change the install location. So it is of no use. You can customize it. So in this case, we are just trying to install the MySQL test database as well, which you can choose not to install um, because it is very heavy as well. Uh, and it will increase the installation time which by by a few seconds or minutes and it, the installation process is very quick so it will just install in a few seconds and once that is done uh, you have to set the password for your root uh, user so use any strong password um, which you can also remember or just keep it somewhere you know saved so that you can easily retrieve it and uh, use it uh, when you want to log in into your MySQL server or you want to connect it uh, with uh, the MySQL workbench. So now either you can uh, you can keep the installer or you can delete the installer. Now here we are in the terminal. We are trying to run this command MySQL but it is not running. Why? Because we have to set an alias um, just so that it knows you know what mysql command points to so we will be doing that now so for that you need to go to the documentation and read it a little so go through these docs uh, the relevant ones so like on the top there is mysql server so click on the mysql reference manual uh, it is always a good way to use the software by going to the official documentation you will need to inculcate that habit of reading so go through these and you will never face uh, some major problems at all because uh, documentations are the official guides for using these softwares so here if you'll go through these you will understand uh, the issue of you know why that command is not working and how to basically set up the alias um, so this bit is very important as well like how the mysql server is uh, initialized and uh, installed so there are different key points which you will learn from this uh, documentation so you can try running these commands as well just in case you want to load 
uh, the MySQL load as in initialize or start the software. So in this case, it is it has already loaded, so we won't be facing much issues. But uh, you can ensure that you will be running these commands. And uh, this was the documentation which we followed for uh, learning how to install the MySQL server. And these are the directories of MySQL in your system which are installed after running the installer. So you need, you must know that as well. Now setting up the uh, alias uh, for the command MySQL, just uh, copy paste uh, these two lines and you will be through. Now the MySQL command will work because now it knows you know what file is it pointing to. So here it says uh, access denied for user. So what we will do now is we will try to read the documentations again. So in this case we'll be going to the tutorial section and we'll be learning how to use different kind of commands. So one of them is uh, uh, hyphen hyphen help and uh, Again, we are having this uh, connecting to and disconnecting from the server. So in this case, we'll be try to log in into MySQL server using the username and password. So the syntax is MySQL hyphen H, localhost is the server hyphen U, username hyphen P will be the password which it will ask. Now that you are logged in in your server you can just try to run a few commands so for example create database and database name uh, so in this case bean scaled and then a new database has been created in our mysql server so we will just uh, try to see how many databases are there in the system and we can see we have this being scaled uh, database in our mysql server thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more. And do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.